Hey, Mountain View, hope you're doing well. Is that a weird question to ask during times like this? Probably. It's Monday afternoon. I'm coming at you with our coronavirus update. Things are changing by the hour in our society, aren't they? Uh, so the thing, I just got off of a conference call with our district officials, and we are operating according to some information that's just been released today uh, by the White House, by the CDC. So uh, as far as how we're going to work it here at Mountain View, we're going to put out in the bare minimum two video updates a week. Uh, we'll be shooting on Mondays and then again on Fridays definitively so you know how the coming week looks and how the coming weekend looks. Now we may or may not increase that as the week goes on and other information needs to get out to you. So keep in close contact with the church Facebook page that you're probably watching this video on right now. We will also upload them onto our website and through our church app. So uh, the way that it looks right now is the White House is saying that this kind of quarantine or, or uh, the adjusted meeting sizes is going to go on for about eight weeks. We're praying that it's not going to go as long as that, but it could be for the next eight weeks that we're doing what we're doing. Uh, we are modifying all of our weekly activities, uh, small groups, uh, youth ministries, different ministries we have going on during the week. The uh, recommendation now is no group over 10 people. Now, if you're a small group leader or part of a small group that you may have under 10 people, but you're meeting in the church building, I'm going to need you to contact Pastor Nate. Pastor Nate knows if we got too many of those meetings, meeting at one time in the church building, and we've got over 10 people at one time in the church building. So if you have a question about that and you're a small group leader, please contact Pastor Nate. You can call the church office or his email is Nate M, Nate M at mvcaog.org, Nate M at mvcaog.org. Uh, we will continue our Facebook Live services. Uh, we had our first Facebook Live service yesterday. It went off very, very well. Uh, we know that a lot of people uh, availed themselves of that and watched that online. Uh, for right now, the only live streaming service that we have is, in fact, Facebook Live. What we're doing is we're taking those videos. We'll post them to our website and to our church app after the fact. But if you want to watch us at 10 a.m. on Sunday mornings, you're going to have to go to Mountain View Christian Assembly's Facebook account. If you haven't been there yet, just go to Facebook.com and type in Mountain View Christian Assembly and we'll pop right up there. So that's some way that you can watch us uh, for free. There's no charge clearly for that. Or if you want to watch it afterward, it will post to our church Facebook account or on the church website and the church app. Uh, I've heard it said that there are two ways to respond uh, to a crisis like this on either side of the pendulum. Both of them are erroneous. We're trying to find a middle ground right in the middle. One of the ways to respond is to panic and lose your mind and buy five years worth of toilet paper and 10 years worth of flour and head for the hills. That's the wrong thing to do right now. The other way to not respond is to be glib and blasé about it and think, well, this isn't affecting anybody. We want to be in the middle. We believe our Lord is in the middle, speaking peace to troubled hearts. And I can assure you we're going to get through this just fine. Okay, How we handle these next few weeks, future generations, should the Lord tarry, are going to look back on us and they will be impressed with the way that we did this. One of the things that I want to do as your pastor is please put yourself out of your own mindset. So some of you, and, and rightfully so, and I'm grateful for you, man, you're set up for this. You're going to be just fine. It doesn't really affect your extenuating circumstances. I want you to step out into your neighborhood and think about maybe the, the single mom that lives three doors down from you and her kids are not going to school, and she's not sure how she's going to make ends meet. We need to have our hands extended into the community and understand that this situation is scaring people, and it's hurting people. Economically, we're going to recover. Physically, we're going to recover. All of this is going to be behind us shortly, I believe. But please, brothers and sisters, step out into your neighborhoods, into your communities, and let's be the hands of Christ extended. There are people that need what you have. I keep saying this over and over, but God has given us peace. He's given us strength. He's given us hope. He's given us joy. Share that with those who don't have it. Okay, if you watched our video yesterday, I preached a sermon on Joshua 1.9, being strong and courageous. The Lord is with us. He's not left us. 
He will be with us to the end of this. So that's my admonition to you. Be strong and very courageous, brothers and sisters. You're going to be okay. We're going to get through this. Please communicate with us should you have any needs. Uh, like I said, the avenues for that are through our church Facebook page. Send us a message. You can contact the church office. We're still doing office hours through our church app and our church website. Please let us know how you're doing. We're going to make it, and our God is still on the throne. Okay, I will talk with you soon. God bless.